Well, it looks like Shawnee O'Neal and Evelyn Lozada is being called out. But actually, Shawnee, the head lady in charge, is being called out for being evil, dirty, and just pretty much low down. What we have been talking about on this channel for some time. Now, Laura Govin, who was on Basketball Wives, and actually this last season of Basketball Wives, has just exposed Shani as just being a dusty, dirty person. Um, her personality, how she's treating people, and it's just... We got to jump into this video and Evelyn Lozada as just a puppet master who pretty much is going to do anything to maintain any type of rel relevance on this show. So guys, I want to get into this commentary, but before we get into the entire conversation, let me just preface the video. So what Laura talked about is pretty much that Shawnee O'Neal is low down and dirty as they come. Okay, so what she really got into, and I'm sure you guys probably already heard the story, the situation with regards to her sleeping with Shaq. Now, she didn't deny it, but I don't believe it was her. I know back when people were saying it was her sister, but at any rate, what Laura is saying is that Shawnee is not being um, real about the situation. And there is more components to the story that she said she would like to talk about. But then she said, obviously, you know, it probably won't come out on the show because they'll just edit it out. But then she gets into talking about being blocked from the show. So Shani allegedly blocked her in the past and somehow reached out to her this year. Obviously, y'all know the show was doing doing terrible. So apparently, Shani reached out to her, but she didn't know that she was going to be set up. So, hey, let's kind of get into it because if you guys get the opportunity, go check out the interview. I believe she starts talking about basketball wives around somewhere around 20 minutes or 19 somewhere in there but y'all let's kind of jump into some of what she said with related to basketball wives Boomer. okay good, please um one thing about you you are very protective of people you love yes and sometimes it's at the expense of your own reputation facts um there's rumors that um, there's an athlete that you were accused of being with. Shaquille. Okay. Let's, let's just come on. Let's, let's call let's, out. Okay, okay. Yeah, we here. There's rumors that you had sex with Shaq. Mm -hmm. Um, and the rumor is you never had sex with Shaq, but your sister did. And that you protected her by just allowing the rumor to be thrown at you. So here's what I would say about that. Is this the camera? Which one am I looking at? Yours is that one. Okay. Here's what I want to say about that. I will not clean up nothing until I talk to Shani because she is the one who started all this. So when she's ready to have a real woman-to-woman -woman conversation, then I'll let that be out, whatever it is and whatever happened and how it, and the truth about what really happened and transpired. But not only are you going to hear my answer and what the truth is, I'm going to give you some of you too. Okay. What do you mean by you'll give Shawnee some of her too? Well, because she thought that me coming back on Basketball Wives was going to be like a, oh, Laura's, um, 
she's ready. Like, she's ready to say sorry. And she's ready to confess. Like, this was her, this is what I, I feel like because she had me ambushed. You saw it. Everybody saw it. Every time I went to sit down to eat, to eat before I went like this, they were like, so he, let me, we want to just read something from, uh, it wasn't even like Matthew's 2018. It was like from her sh narrating some shit. Well, bitch, I'll show you. Okay, bet. So since you feel like you wanted to vomit all this shit out without hearing my side, my story, my truth, this is what you're doing? Let me tell you about you, since you want to talk about me. Let's just, we're going to keep it a buck, a thousand on a thousand. That's where I'm at. There's rumors that you have been blocked from being on Basketball Wise for years because she did not want you on the show. So I had, we had DM'd each other. She actually DM'd me and said that she wanted to clear up some rumors that, sorry. Mm -hmm. She actually, Shawnee actually DM'd me and said that she wanted to clear up a rumor that she was the reason why I wasn't on Basketball Wives. But. She DM'd you when? She DM'd me this year. In 2024? 2024. She DM'd me this year. And. My response was, I don't remember their response. I'll pull up the DM, so I'll let you see it. But um, I just remember being like, yeah, cool. Like, that's what's up. Like, because I see her, our daughters play basketball a lot together. I love, I still, I love her children. I see them. I say hi. I always speak. They always speak. They're always respectful. They're always really nice. Never rude. Never nothing. Um, and uh I, her daughter, I, I love her daughter. Sometimes I hear her call me auntie and I'm like, holy shit, you know? And, mm. and I, I take pride in that. Nothing could happen to her babies when I'm in the, you know, in present. And so I had to, we would see each other and it was, it, it's never awkward for me at, for, with anybody. I don't, I don't care. Like I'm always going to be myself. I'm always going to sit on the floor. Like it is what it is. And so, um, she, you know, I guess she felt some type of way. Um, but yeah, she saw me at a, an event. And I think because, you know, we were always just be like cordial. There was no beef. It wasn't like when she walks past me, you know, like even to date when I see Drea, if, uh, you know, oh, we want, I want, we want, I had to bring that in. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we'll but, everything tonight. Yeah. But so when it was like, when we see each other, it was just a mutual thing. Like, you know, bygones, bygones. I don't really care. Like, whatever. So, um, anyway, so when we, you know, it's a mutual thing. And then on top of that, um, the respect out of it. And then when she told me that DM, when she DM me that, um, I was good. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, bet. So I started, the producers reached out. It was a whole process. But producers from before, and people from before on the show always told me that the issue was her. Oh, producers. Mm -hmm. This is not, and you know I know people. Oh, you so know. It's not, yeah, I'm not oh. getting secondhand bullshit. I don't no, even rock and, and listen, I want to, I want to correct. So, y'all, First Lady Shawnee O'Neal out here being messy yet again. And as Laura described, she said that Shawnee actually contacted her this year when it was, well, I shouldn't even say allegedly because Laura said that she knew for a fact that producers on the show told her that Shawnee did not want her on the show. But y'all, this is the part that is so sad. If you guys go to Carlos King and actually watch the full interview, Laura was actually homeless at one point in time with her children when she left her kid's father. So the fact that Shawnee O'Neal tried, well, she didn't try to blacklisted this girl off the show because of Shaquille O'Neal, who she wasn't even with no more. This lady is a mess. Well, Laura also goes into um how shawnee used evelyn to try to get her to talk about the situation 
which is obviously between her sister, which that girl is not finna talk about her sister, which is stupid. And why are we talking about who slept with Shaq? Like, who cares? Shawnee is not even married to him no more. But y'all, once again, more information on how Shawnee O'Neal is just a hot, stinking mess.